right, on to the next project here. I need to actually get this gauge mounted up on the uh, up on the bars. This is a Coso DB02R, kind of like GP style, real small, compact, digital, um, multifunction gauge. This has a lot of uh, a lot of features, um, more than enough for like let's say a factory bike, but this just has some added you know added features on it that I think we'll have some fun with. You can look up. Uh, you can look those features up if you just search this gauge, just KOSO and then DB02R. But I'm going to mount this right about here. So coming back from the bars, it doesn't look too big. Um, should fit really well. And what I'm going to do is build a bracket to actually fit under the bar risers. And then that'll be, you know, clamped there. I don't want to drill any holes or weld to the, weld to the triple or anything like that. And I don't want to have like extended studs on the bars, and I don't want to have a clamp on the bars. So I think having a bracket that I'll make coming from in between here that meets in the middle, bends up, and just has two mounting holes in the middle will be the cleanest solution. Um, and it won't add any clamps or any clutter to anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do another template. And then I think this is 14 gauge steel, which should be enough. Um, I'll use this unless I can get my hands on some aluminum, but as of right now, I don't really feel like going outside and getting in the uh, chaos that is uh, COVID-19 and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to barricade myself in here and continue working. All right, so I'm deep in the, uh, the, the template making stage here, and oh boy, do I have a hot tip for you I just discovered. So check this out for cutting holes in cardboard templates. Camera set up here, give you all a seizure from uh, shaking it so much. All right. Spot weld driller. Check this out. No pull on the paper at all. Cuts a clean circle. That is one that I just came up with. That I'm gonna keep. Ah, damn it! As soon as I say that, I f it up. Ah. Okay, I got a little carried away and overly confident there with the uh, with my 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 hot tip, you know, for getting holes cut in that. But we're still gonna use this template even though it's embarrassing and it's, you know, it should be wiped from history at this point. So, I got some aluminum or aluminum, what have you, some 3 16 and um, just happens to fit on here with ways almost perfectly, so very minimal scrap here. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this, get it cut, and get it bent, drilled, and then we'll mount it on the bike. I'm not sure if I'll eventually probably anodize this or powder coat it, paint it, whatever, maybe polish, but I just want it to be subtle and almost hidden, so it's likely gonna get some kind of, you know, satin black type type finish on it, just to make it clean. So anyway, I'm gonna get it cut and we'll get going. Basic rough cuts done. And then I have my uh, mounting holes drilled and then this clearance for the actual steering stem there or top triple clamp. So I'm just going to radius this, uh, make all the lines kind of make sense. And then I think instead of doing like a, a radius in there like that, I might just do a straight line on either side and then just bend it up. I don't think there's any necessity to get too crazy with this one. I think a straight line will still look, will still look plenty good. Especially since I'm trying to hide this whole thing. Yeah, you can see it clamps just under the bar risers. It should fit good.
I think this bracket looks pretty good up here. Just enough clearance where you want it. Once the bar's in here, should be able to reach the buttons, no problem. Clean out of the way. So I just want to do a quick rundown. This is a Koso DB02R that we're going to be using on this bike. And I'll do a um, probably a more proper install video as we as we go, uh, whenever we get down to like the electronics of the bike. But for now I had to get this thing out and actually come up with some kind of mount. And um, I also have for the Speedo on this bike, I have it mounted on the rear wheel instead of the front just to keep it a little bit more clean. Um, and I can go through all of this if, if anybody wishes, but I will do, I will do more of a, uh, a full-blown install video on how hooking this up, doing the ignition and, and whatnot. It's going to be just a completely unique combination. So, But I have the bracket made. I think it looks really good, nice and clean. It's really out of the way. And then from up top, it just, nothing looks out of, out of place. Good access on the buttons. And then it should have like a shift light, warning light up here. I think that'll be just about perfect. So this is about where you'll be sitting on the bike. It's gonna be awesome. But anyway. All right, it is time to work on the headlight for this bike, or mounting the headlight. Now, this isn't the exact light I'm gonna use. I'll actually plan on using just the bucket with a new LED in the front, but it's gonna be in this ballpark, you know? I don't want it too far away. And I had actually purchased some, uh, some billet brackets for this thing, and I'm just, I mean, they're expensive, and I just don't like how they look. They 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 stick the headlight like out here. I mean, like no no joke out here. And you only have a very limited clamping window on these particular forks, but I just I don't know. I there's no I don't think there's any reason to have it that far out. It looks weird, so I'm going to try to sink it in like this. And I have a new idea of actually making a mount based off of my steering stops since those are kind of floating around and that's made of steel I can make another counter bore and bring a tube up to the headlight and I think that'd be really slick looking I've never made anything like that but I don't see why I couldn't so I think that's what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna work on making a couple counter bores for the uh, outside of the bucket and then from there I'll just kind of start bending some bending some steel up and I don't know, tack something in place, see what it looks like.
Guys like my headlight bracket. It looks pretty sweet. Shouldn't go anywhere. It's high quality tape. Nah, but anyway, as you know from watching previous videos, if you have, um, my steering stops are made of counter bores in here. Maybe that's a better view. There you go. So those were just kind of hanging out in space. I uh, didn't really anticipate doing anything with them. But I figured maybe that might be a cool headlight mount to tie in off of. So I made another counter bore for the headlight bucket. And then you saw me bend and cut these up. So if I can wiggle this in here, you kind of get the idea of just a. No, this is really dark and hard to see. But use that, use that pedestal as a mounting point. And then from the side, there's nothing on the fork. That might look cool. And you'd still be able to adjust the headlight up and down. The uh, hard part that I'm facing right now is just absolutely confirming that it's square, that it's square this way and square that way, and you know, like. So I'm using a lot of tape, trying to lock it into a solid position, uh, and then just adjusting the tape by like a millimeter here, a millimeter there, and and just dialing it in. And I think I got it about as close as I'm gonna possibly be able to get it and I'll tack it up and then see if I can take the tape off confirm that it's in the right spot and then go ahead and weld them Wish me luck. I think that looks pretty good kind of a pain to tack into place but once I had it where I wanted it, you know, just get it welded up. I think that's just about perfect. Really digging these mounts I made. It's actually really solid on here. I figure if I can add more structure to it or if I need to, I can always do that. Um, I can tie into like this bracket up top, maybe into the headlight somehow. Uh, there's also the thought I might build a little uh, mini fairing to go over this just to kind of hide, hide some wiring and, and just make it look cleaner because there might be some more body work on this bike. We don't know that yet. But I really like how this looks. And again, this is not the actual headlight we're using. Hopefully we can use this bucket, but otherwise we're going to be using another five and three quarter um, LED. Yeah, it's just Fun little thing that just popped into my head. Glad I tried it out. Well, there you have it, guys. Custom-made headlight bracket and a custom-made gauge mount. Both these things looking really, really awesome on the CX, and they just, you know, it's the little pieces like that that really add up throughout the whole bike to kind of make the entire, the entire package what it is. So I hope you liked the video, and you know, maybe you get some inspiration to build something like that on your own. Thanks for watching.